What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from wifientrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys landing here on my page today. It's another beautiful day here in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Today I want to talk a little bit about how to find investors for your business. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out and this is on Facebook, make sure you subscribe to our Facebook page. And if this is on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page as well. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit, help you create your online brand and start to earn income online. So as I mentioned in the opener, I want to talk a little bit about how to find investors for your business. I know me personally, when I was getting started launching businesses online, my buddy and I always thought that finding investors for our business was the number one thing. You know, I need to find investors for my business. I'm gonna quit my job and then I'm just gonna go all in, right? I'm just gonna do it big like that. And a lot of us put a lot of emphasis on finding investors. We may go to pitch things, um, pitch seminars or pitch product launches, if you will, similar to Shark Tank. If you guys are familiar with Shark Tank, those are actually you know, Shark Tank wasn't the first one to come up with it. You know, they've been doing that for years. Uh, you come there to an event or a conference and you're able to pitch your product. And then investors will be in the audience and they say, yeah, yeah, nay, and you move on. Well, I know as an early entrepreneur, we put a lot of emphasis on trying to make sure we had the right slide deck, we had the right pitch, we had it down in 30 seconds. We had all these things that we thought we needed. and. What was surprising was we put a lot of work, or maybe not surprising is, we put a lot of work into formulating these pitch products and we were focused so much on finding investors that we weren't actually working on building the business. Uh, I know right now, as a lot of people are familiar with things like Kickstarter, uh, that's a wonderful way to uh, raise money for your business. I know. Another one is GoFundMe. I'm pretty sure people are familiar with GoFundMe's. Everyone's starting a GoFundMe. I think it was one for the border wall. I mean, you can start a GoFundMe for just about anything. So if you're looking for free money, hey, it may be out there. But what I learned over my years, and it was actually some information or advice someone gave me before, it was that you don't need investors in your business. You already have an investor for your business. And I was like, what do you mean? How do I already have an investor for your business? Like, do you have a full-time job? Like, yes. Well, that full-time job is paying you a salary that you can use to go out, spend it on dinners and nightlife for so on and so forth, or you can use that money to invest in your business. So when it comes to considering where you can find money to invest in your business or how to find investors for your business, look within, look at what you already have going on. If you already have a nine to five job, just reallocating your spending can be the necessary steps to push you ahead. Like I said before, when we were putting together those slide decks and going to these pitch seminars, we weren't working on our business. We weren't growing what we were looking to grow. Oftentimes we would spend so much time and energy on producing these slide decks that once we got done and then we didn't get the, the opportunity that we thought that we, we, we were owed from working so hard, guess what? We, we doubted ourselves. We, we felt like, oh, well, if they don't like us, then we, might not have, we must not have a good idea. And reality is, they may just not have been ready for what we had. And if we didn't spend so much effort and energy trying to impress them, and in turn spending our time and energy with trying to impress our customers, we could have gotten so much further. So if you're looking for how to invest, uh, find investors for your business, then I highly recommend you look at how you're spending your own nine to five money. You know. I always like to say that you can start a business with no money, especially inside of our community. You can join our community for free. You're gonna get training information that's gonna help you succeed. You're gonna get uh, support. You're gonna get two free websites that you could design as you want. We're gonna help you turn your passion to profit. You know, you can start a business for free. 
And you can find profitability in that business uh, if you're willing to go through the steps. So again, hopefully this information helps you. Like I said before, you can go to Kickstarter, you can go to GoFundMe, you can go waste your time trying to pitch people, but look at how you're spending and then change the way you're spending and I'm sure you'll find some money available to help you do some of the things that you're looking to do with your business online. So I'm gonna leave it there until we talk again. You guys take care and be blessed.